Hey, Mike here again. Uh, just coming back to talk a little bit more about what you can do with your cluster once you've launched it. Now, in our last video, we launched a free M0 tier sandbox cluster. And while this is a highly available three node cluster, uh, perhaps you uh, have launched your application and you want to increase the resources available to the cluster. Perhaps you need more space available or more CPU. Um, it's very easy to do. Here I'm back in MongoDB Atlas in the cluster console. I just have one cluster available to me today. This is cluster zero. Um, I've shown you in the previous video how to connect to that cluster. And of course, we can look at uh, the collections available. <clears throat> During the last video, I created one database and one collection, adding one document. Uh, but let's go through the process of how we would scale this instance. So here we're going to find the configuration button in the upper right hand side and I'm going to click that and this is going to look a lot like the, the initial wizard, um, the configuration panel where I specified all of the settings that I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted for my initial cluster. Here we, we get to uh, control the global distribution of our cluster. Um, for the moment that's available on M30 and above. Uh, we can even change the provider. So right now we're in the AWS provider. I can move that to GCP or Azure. Um, I can move the location of the primaries to different, uh, different regions within AWS. And notice if I change the cloud provider, the regions change along with those. For the moment, I'm going to leave it in AWS. And because uh, I'm, I'm going to just require a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more CPU, and maybe a little bit more disk. I'm going to show you how to change that. So I'm going to select a larger size instance. Perhaps I'll move up to an M5 or even an M10. Notice that the per hour charge is going to change as I do that. If you notice at the bottom right here in our M0, it's, uh, it should be free forever. Uh, but as I select the larger size instances, the, um, the per hour charge fluctuates and you can see that. Now I also have some additional control over the storage settings. I can add additional storage. I can have uh, a larger amount of storage, but I can also, as I increase the size, I can change the, the IOPS rating for that storage. That's, that is a result of the larger size disks. You'll see a faster uh, input outputs per second. So for now, I'm going to leave it at M5. That should run me about $25 per month. And that's really all I need to change at the moment. I'm going to hit Apply Changes. From now, I need to supply the uh, details for payment because we're moving from a free tier instance to a paid instance. And I'll have to put my uh, credit card information in there. But once I do that, it should take just a few minutes, maybe uh, 10 minutes to uh, to scale that instance. I'm going to stop the video and we'll come back after that's done. Okay, and we're back. And uh, we've just upgraded our cluster zero from an M0 free tier sandbox to an M5 instance. Now, you'll notice that when we drill in, it's still a three node cluster. Uh, and to connect to the cluster, it's virtually the same exact process. The connection string will be virtually the same you won't have to change the connection string in your application. Uh, I can copy the same, uh, the same connection string and leverage this to connect once again. And you'll notice that our databases are all intact. The same new DB that I created last time is present and migrated. And the, the data, although it's only one document, has been migrated over as well. So there you have it, a very short video on upgrading from an M0 tier, a free, a free tier instance of MongoDB Atlas, to an M5 instance. I hope this was helpful.